Greetings. I challenge you to create a story map of your CV or resume. Create a story map of your CV or resume. Ever since they were created by my colleague Alan Carroll and his team, I have been an ardent supporter of story maps. I teach story maps workshops regularly. I also give many presentations throughout the year, and in many of those, story maps are the means by which I give the presentations. One example is my presentation, Geography, Key to Resiliency and a Healthy Planet, which was the keynote address I gave at a recent conference of the Geography Teachers Association of Victoria, Australia. Good on you, mates. It has been amazing and heartwarming to see how story maps have been adopted by the GIS community and non-GIS community alike. Alan Carroll told me that by late 2020, over one and a half million story maps had been created. They communicate in just about every conceivable field, from archaeology to zoology, A to Z. Those of you watching this video channel and, and reading the education blog on the ESRI community know that we are focused on education, and in the education space, story maps are used in many ways. Instructors use them to teach content such as ocean currents, biodiversity, population change, and much more, and to teach skills in working with GIS tools, spatial data, and the ArcGIS platform. They are also useful in teaching about issues such as data quality, copyright, hmm, can I use that image in my map, crowdsourcing, and to foster skills in communication. Students use story maps to document and showcase their work, to their peers, to their instructors, and as a living online resource that they can also show prospective employers. Thus, they become a portfolio online. Students in my online courses regularly create story maps and send me the URL so that I can assess their work. In my face-to-face -face courses, students use them as a resource as they give oral presentations to myself and their peers instead of a standard PowerPoint or Prezi. When I teach story maps in workshops, I always say, make a story map of your CV or resume. Why? Number one, it shows your prospective employer that you know something about WebGIS tools. Two, it helps you to stand out in the crowd. There's nothing wrong with a traditional text-based resume or CV, certainly, and I recommend that you provide a link to your story map CV on your traditional text-based CV. In fact, I still lead with my text-based CV. Number three, it is an interesting and engaging way to tell your story. Number four, it provides a method for you to share your interactive maps, services, and multimedia, videos, online, audio, photographs, in a way that traditional methods do not allow. Number five, it is a great way of encouraging yourself to keep current in Story Maps tools. And it's also fun. Now, since you know your story best, it's an easy way to get started with story mapping, and it is something that you can revisit quarterly or whenever you need to add to it. Number six, it provides your colleagues and readers with encouragement that they could do this as well, thus spreading the geo love. Indeed, as my colleague Bern Sikalski wrote in his essay, Things you didn't know you could do with story maps, CVs are listed along with newsletters, guides, tutorials, annual reports, promotions, engagements, and more as some of the things you can easily and powerfully do with story maps. If you need some inspiration, here are some examples. Amanda Huber of Minnesota has probably received more attention than anyone about her story map, where she included examples of her own work and also sections on why GIS matters. An early but still compelling example here uses a map tour to feature stops along this person's journey. Kiara Dawson made sure she included her career objectives in her story map. A 2019 ESRI student volunteer, Jessica Liu, used the new express map function in the story maps tools for her story. The example here from Lele Duan uses a story map series with the side accordion layout, providing a compelling way for prospective employers to learn more about Lele and also see her GIS work through interactive maps, including a very impressive city engine scene. The example of a geo resume from Renato Salvaleone uses the story maps journal to provide accomplishments and projects using a mix of media and maps. Since Journal recognizes and organizes things into sections, this enables a logical arrangement of important resume facts and examples. Renato's GIS buttons start things off in an eye-catching way. 
One of the best things about story maps and other web mapping applications from Esri is that they can be embedded into other types of multimedia. For example, Kate Berg hosted her content on GitHub and showcases two different styles of story maps here. I'm not telling you all to do something I'm not doing myself. Here's my own story map CV. I had a blast doing it and had to tear myself away after a few hours. I have the story map, a video about me, and my text-based CV linked to my website. In the map, I included some 2D and 3D web maps associated with curricular items that I have created. Selected story map presentations, so yes, a story map embedded in a story map. And some of my favorite geeky photographs of myself, and some of my favorite landscapes and features, including the 1964 World's Heaviest Globe in New York City, shown here. But most importantly, my story map includes a web map with some of the accomplishments I wanted to feature. Why do I say most importantly? While you can certainly create a story map that is entirely composed of text and images and videos, the value added component of story maps is maps. Thus, I highly encourage you to include at least one interactive web map. What will I do with my story map next? My next task is to create a section that includes some of the people that I have been most privileged to collaborate with. That will be fun and a kind way to acknowledge those who have helped me along the way. Explore these examples, folks, but don't feel confined to them. Be creative and do your own thing. Thanks.